Let's talk about you today. It combines the power of the mind with the wisdom of your heart and it just helps you to unlock your potential. My name is Shiny Unsal. I am the creator of Neuroshine Technology and your Neuroshine coach. And today we're going to ask this question. Who are you? And I would love to bring you three different perspectives to look at who you are so that we can chunk them down and then you can come up with a real clear idea about who you are and then who you want to be in this world. Why is it important? Because if you own your identity, you're going to own yourself at another level. You're going to show up at another level. You're going to become somebody who you're going to be so proud of, shall we? So I have three different perspectives. The first one is your internal qualities. When you look at yourself, you look at what's important for you, which is your values, you ask yourself, what do I believe in? What do I need to believe to become who I need to become? That's your beliefs. And then you also have your dreams that make you who you are. Those dreams are inside of you, are within you for a reason. You don't randomly are given dreams. You have special gifts, you have special talents. And all of these internal qualities, they are the fundamental component of who you are, and it is up to you to shape yourself according to how you want to live your life. Let me just give you an example. When we are talking about your internal qualities, and when we are talking about values, beliefs, and dreams, think of yourself as an entrepreneur. Maybe you want to become an entrepreneur, and you want to ask yourself, do I believe in creating something for the world? Do I find it important to show up at another level and have clarity, have purpose, and have power and motivation to move on? And do I have that dream to make it happen, to provide something of value to the world? These questions, they are all internal. They're right here. And we don't get to see them if you don't own them and if you don't turn them into your language, your behaviors, and your actions. Does that make sense? So all these internal qualities, they start and end with you, and you really need to take the time to sit down to define and refine who you are for this world, okay? So let's look at you from the second perspective, which is your external qualities. What do I mean by your external qualities? Well. How do we see you? The way you show up in the world is going to be firstly about your image, your language, your behaviors, your actions. What you do in the world is going to create a certain image. If you are the entrepreneur that we gave as an example, then the image of an entrepreneur, the image of somebody who is a creator, who is a mover and shaker, that image is going to show up as, uh, as someone who is so motivated, someone who is just such a go-getter, someone who's just going to defy the odds and is just going to keep committed no matter what. And that image is going to be seen by actions. What kind of actions? If you have a social media, you're gonna keep posting. If you have emails, you're gonna keep emailing to people and telling them about who you are, what you're working on. If you have the image of yourself as someone who is making a difference in the world, then the way you choose your dresses, the way you choose your outfits, the way you have makeup on if you're a lady, the way you have your car, the, the way you create some sort of a tangible, visible image, solid image is going to be coming from that 
internal drive, that internal qualities. And I'm not trying to tell you that you need to create this image so that you know everybody can recognize that it needs to be this or that. It's up to you. It's your choice how you want to be. I'm just giving you a perspective, an idea that it is in your power to take those internal qualities and show up with your external qualities. And that image is not limited with division. It's also covering your voice. Voice is another part of your external qualities. What do I mean by that? Well, you have a voice and that voice needs to be heard, right? So the, the world needs to hear from you. What do you stand for? If you were to have a fight with someone, what would you defend? What kind of values would you stand for? What kind of arguments would you go into? Because that's so important for you. Do you want to stand up for fairness? Do you want to stand up for freedom? Do you want to stand up for life on your terms? Like I am standing up for you, freedom and life on your terms. And this video becomes my voice. And I have an image, I have the external qualities that I am sharing with you with hopes that you are understanding where I'm coming from and what kind of a voice I am holding on to and I am representing in the world. I'm a voice of positivity, clarity and enlightenment with my shiny mind show that you're watching. That's an example. If you are a coach, if you're an entrepreneur, if you are working for a corporation, if you are a mom at home, it doesn't matter where you are, what you do. It's about choosing an identity and defining who you are so clearly. You follow? Okay, let's continue. The third perspective is your eternal qualities. This one is a bit deeper. What do I mean by eternal qualities. I'm sure you've heard before that it's all about how you make others feel in the world. Your eternal qualities, they are what makes you you, uniquely you, because of the energy that you bring, because of the image, the voice that you represent, because of the internal qualities that you have, they all come together, they all unite around this being who gives something to someone and it is actually creating the same outcome because you have sharpened your identity, you defined it, refined it, you owned it, and now it shows up clearly. Whoever gets to know you, they, ha they have the same feedback about you. They're going to tell you the same thing. They're gonna tell you, oh, this person is such and such. This person I admire. This person shows up when it is hard. Whatever you want them to say, that's how it's going to show up as your eternal qualities. Even when you're gone, when you disappear from this planet Earth, people are going to remember you in a certain way, and that is your eternal quality. And last but not least, that eternal quality is your impact. How you add value to this world with your existence, how you make your difference with your internal qualities, with your image, with your voice, and how you make them feel with your energy. That is the impact you create in the world. And that's how you make your difference. Even after you're gone, your impact is still alive. It's eternal, it is timeless, and it's forever. So I hope it served you, my dear shiny mind who's watching. Please take the time to work on defining and refining who you are and own it so deep that you're so proud of yourself. And please share this video with others who might really need to hear this right now. And here is my reminder. Life is a beautiful game that you can play on your own terms successfully. So it's your time to unlock your true potential and become who you're meant to be. So that together we can make this world a better place with more love and shiny minds. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. You might be helping someone who really needs to hear this. 
and subscribe to my channel to become more and achieve more.